This is the portable EVSE that came with a friend's Ford C-Max Energy. And these have a 120-volt uh, uh, connection and will charge the car at 12 amps at 120 volts, which, as you can see from the label here, works out to 1,400 watts. You may have read that in some cases, you, these EVSEs can run on 240 volt as well if you adapt the plug. In the case of these Ford uh, units, there's a switch mode power supply in here. So the circuit board itself and the power supply will always su support 240 volt. But most EVSEs include a MOV, which is what makes a surge suppressor a surge suppressor. And in the 120 volt only units, that MOV is essentially goes short at 150 volts. Now, in the case of this EVSE, if we look at the uh, cord, notice that it says three conductor at 16 gauge and two conductor at 22 gauge. And that's because inside this plug head, there's a temperature sensor. Uh, Ford had some trouble where plugs were getting hot and melting, probably from crappy uh, house wiring. And so they put a temperature sensor in this uh, plug to tell the EVSE, hey, slow down before you melt something. Reading online, a later revision of this, uh, I think it was J maybe, instead of AH it was AJ, uh, does support 240 volt operation, but I wasn't sure on this particular one, and this, I have tried to open this plastic weld without destroying it, and it's pretty stout. So what we're going to do now is use a dim bulb tester to see if we can run this on 240 volt. Dim bulb testers are pretty simple devices. Here's one that I've made up. Essentially what we have, we have a switch that turns the power on and off to this outlet. But first it has to go through this outlet over here into which I've plugged a 60 watt light bulb. So if whatever you plug in here is shorted out it will just make the light bulb light up brightly but if there's no short and it's drawing you know less a lot less than 60 watts the bulb won't come on at all if it say it was drawing 30 watts the bulb would come on dimly and the voltage at this receptacle would be reduced so i've made up a nema 1430 1450 adapter to I think this is a 5 or a uh, yeah 515 is what this is uh, now of course this receptacle is only intended to have 120 volt things plugged into it but the casing is rated at 250 volt so we're we're safe there so I'm going to plug my bulb tester into this cord and then this into my dryer outlet all right, Have that plugged in. Now, this is all hooked up, so when I turn on the switch, either this light bulb will light up extremely brightly, because it's only a 120 volt bulb and I'll need to turn it back off right away, or the bulb won't light up and the EVSE will come on. So let's find out. So you can see the uh, bulb is not illuminated at all, the EVSE is on, and we are drawing 2 watts, which is pretty appropriate standby power for one of these. So it seems like this EVSE is good to go on 240 volt. Let's try it on the car. Alright, EVSE is plugged in, we'll plug it into the car. Can't 
see the orange light there. And we are charging. Let's see how much power we're drawing. 3,055 watts. So we are still limited to 12 amps. So we are not getting the full 3.3 kilowatts that, uh, see we, I have a full 240 volt, but we are not getting the full 3.3 kilowatts that the charger in the ELR can sustain, but it's a lot better than 1400. Thanks for watching. I hope you found that useful.